welcome back to my videos and today we are going to be taking a in-depth look at the most prestigious title in WWE history. Yeah, no, today we're going to be looking at the 24-7 title. So one thing to note about this belt is that it is used. That's why you see that big scratch over the 24. But other than that, this belt is in great shape. As far as the size of the belt goes, it's a pretty decent size for a gimmick title. I mean, it's definitely not as small as a cruiserweight title and not as big as the big gold. I think it's a happy medium and it fits around my waist rather perfectly. As far as the plates themselves, it's a pretty decent design for what it is. It's rather simple, but this belt wasn't meant to be anything big like the big gold. It's a gimmick belt. You don't need it to have all the glitz and glamour. The overall design of the belt kind of gives me an art deco vibe where everything's rather simplistic, straight and to the point. As far as the side plates go, they're rather plain. Honestly, I'm not a big fan. I feel like they could have put a 24-7 there or anything to make it a little less plain. As far as the snap boxes go, I'm pretty impressed with the amount of detail. I love the design of the snap boxes. It almost resembles a thumbprint to me. Uh, this side has 2x7, while the other side has 2x5 accompanied along with a gold tip. As far as the back of the belt goes, it's pretty plain, but one thing that was pretty surprising to me was the amount of bolts on the side plates and the center plate. The side plates each have six bolts while the center plate only has four, which is odd to me because I would think that you would want the main attraction, the center plate, to have the most bolts possible. So that's it for the 24-7 title. What do you think of the 24-7 championship belt? I personally don't mind it. It's definitely not great. It's definitely not bad. But it is what it is. For a gimmick belt, I don't think it's all that bad, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. 